We're still at the Carrier Dome, and it's time for the Class C quarterfinals between the General Brown Lions and the Walton Warriors. Walton would get started with Kyle Bessemer taking it on second and seven and getting a first down. Walton wouldn't get much more going as they get stopped on the third down, and then Kyle McLaughlin would have trouble getting the snap on the punt, and the Lions would get the ball in Walton territory. The Lions would get it moving with Jody McAvoy completing this pass to Chris Bastian deep inside Walton territory. Walton's defense would step it up as they force a fumble. General Brown would recover, but the Lions end up turning the ball over on downs. Walton's on the move near the end of the first quarter as YZ Askers out, it gets to the outside and picks up 25 yards. Askerzada gets the call again, and he takes it inside the 20. At the start of the second quarter on fourth and goal, Trevor Tomeo finds Wisey Askerzada in the end zone to put Walton on top. Kirby Fletcher would make the two-point conversion to give Walton the 8-0 lead. General Brown comes right back as Gordon Thomas picks up a first down for the Lions. Then Jody McAvoy would fake the handoff and find Kyle Young from 16 yards out to put the Lions on the board. Ben Call's extra point would make it eight to seven Walton. On second and three from the 47, Askerzada gets the first down. On another second down, Askerzada gets it again and picks up another first down. On first down, Wisey gets it again and gets another first down, this time inside the 10-yard line. The Warriors stay with Askerzada, and he takes it all the way down to the 1. On fourth and goal with 9 seconds left in the half, Jeff Bolivar gets it across the goal line to put Walton on top, 14-7 going into the break. Walton's defense would hold the Lions on their first second half drive. Kyle Bessemer keeps the Warriors moving as he picks up a first down. Askerzada gets his team into General Brown territory with this run. This time Askerzada takes it through the middle to get the ball down to the 14 yard line. Kirby Fletcher knocks on the door as he gets Wallen down to the four yard line. Askerzada flies into the end zone, and now Walton is on top, 20-7. to The Lions would have to punt on their next drive, and Zach Pickenick gets it in his Pickenick basket. He sheds a tackle at the 30 and gets it all the way into the Lions' den for a great return that even Boo Boo would be proud of. Wisey Askerzada takes the pitch to the far side, and he gets it all the way down to the 15-yard line for another great run. Then, guess who's going to get the ball again? That's right, Askerzada has it, and he dives into the end zone and puts his team ahead 26-7. Kirby Fletcher picks up the two-point conversion, and Walton has a 28-7 lead. The Walton faithful loves their Warrior football team. Walton's defense would keep up the pressure, and they get the ball back again for the offense. Kirby Fletcher gets it going near the end of the third quarter with this nice run. Fourth quarter on fourth and three, as Kurzada keeps the drive going with this first down. Robert McLaughlin takes it through the middle from 13 yards out to give Walton a 34-7 advantage. Walton wins the game 40 to 15 and moves on to the Class C semifinals to face Leroy. Askerzada finished with 217 yards on 25 carries and Walton just dominated the Lions. Here's what the coach and players had to say. The first half we were kind of shaky, but I don't know, I think it was just everybody was getting used to playing in the dome inside and then the second half we just, I think, took off. But did real well. Came out a little slow, but General Brown played a Came at us real good in the beginning of the game. They came at us uh, more than I thought they were. They, played, they did some nice things. It just took us a while to get going. Well, it was very exciting. I, 
I humbled myself, but uh, you know, it was good blocking and I did what I had to do. It seemed like ever since the win against Sydney, the Wallen Warriors have been playing like champions. I think we're just playing the way we're capable of playing now. Before then we were just playing football, now we're playing football the way we have to and the way we know we can. We were playing okay, but we weren't playing great ball. And once we beat uh, Sydney, who was undefeated at the time, the kids, the kids felt good about themselves, and we felt a little more confident as coaches. And uh, ever since then, they've been playing very good football.